I'd like to do some osmosis problems from L78V. So here are two solutions. You have a molecular compound on the left side. So the osmolarity is the same as the molarity, so 0.315 osmolar. And the solution on the right is an ionic compound. Therefore, the osmolarity is 3 times the molarity. And I get the 3 because there's 3 total ions in this formula. 2 anions and 1 cation. So the osmolarity on the right is 0.1413. That's 3 times 0 0.0471. So the higher osmolar solution is the one on the left. And osmosis is the process of where water wants to dilute the more concentrated side. So water is going to try to dilute the left side. So water is going to flow from the right side to the left side. So which picture represents that? Seems to me it's this one here. Let's try another one. Left side is 0.15 molar copper sulfate. So the osmolarity on the left side is 0 0.3. I'm getting 0 0.3 because I multiplied 0.15 times 2 because there's two ions in copper sulfate. The right side contains physiological saline, which is 0 0.3 osmolar. So we have isotonic solutions, so there should be no movement of water. So choice A would be my choice. Oops, let me submit that. All right, let's try another one. And we have physiological saline again, and this time zinc chloride. And zinc chloride has three ions total, so I don't even need to calculate the actual osmolarity. I could just say that the osmolarity on the right side is greater than the osmolarity on the left side because 0.3, I'm sorry, uh, 3 times which is about 0.2 is close to 0.6. So the right side has a higher osmolarity. So I would say water is going to go from left to right. So we're going to see a drop in the left side. And I see that right here. And remember, water wants to dilute. That's why water is going from the left side to the right side, because the right side was more concentrated. <clears throat> 